Hello everyone, welcome back once again to my YouTube channel, Victoria Physics. I hope you all are keeping fine amidst this COVID crisis. And we have started with virtual labs and few experiments are already done. I hope you are aware of this uh, window that is uh, right there in front of the screen, virtual labs. We will be performing uh, electronics experiments virtually with the help of virtual lab. This is an initiative by the government and uh, over here it is free, easily accessible and you can do the experiments multiple times. So uh, we will just uh, look uh, into the experiment list and today we will do uh, BJT common emitter characteristics. We have completed most of the experiments over here and I am uh, gradually teaching you the experiments from here as per the syllabus of Calcutta University fourth semester physics honors under CBCS system. And over there we have experiment number 10 over here, which is the BJT common emitter characteristics. So let us begin. Uh, this experiment and see how to perform this experiment. Okay, the basics you have to brush up on your own. Uh, it's a theory section of the experiment which is uh, required to be written in the exam paper. You have uh, to write this entirely and uh, just uh, uh, go through this section. It's very uh, given in very details and all the working formulas are written including the circuit diagram and also uh, some of the basic components are uh, explained. And uh, the next part is the procedure section, which I always repeatedly tell you that please follow the steps as it is given in this procedure section and it will be easier for you all to simulate the circuit. Okay, so just follow this uh, uh, part and you'll be able to simulate your circuit. Okay, so if you have any kind of queries, you can drop in your queries in the chat box or you can also write to me. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also uh, hit the bell button so that you can uh, get uh, updates of the videos as soon as I upload them. So first we will start with the uh, output characteristics uh, in simulation part and BJT output characteristics. Uh, please go through the theory part because it would be easier for you all to understand this uh, experimental section. Over here you can see a complete circuit is given uh, with biasing voltages and these are resistances and uh, the ammeters are given where current is to be measured and voltmeters are there. The ammeters, as you can see, are connected in series and voltmeters in parallel uh, with VBE and this part. And over here also you have the instruction page, just um, do the steps as it is mentioned over there and it will be helpful for you all uh, to actually uh, make the circuit correctly, okay? And so let's begin with the experiment. So first uh, read the instruction. It says that you have to set the rheostat RH1. Okay, RH1, this rheostat to one ohm. So I'm setting this to as one ohm. And you have to set the rheostat RH2 also to one ohm. So, once this is set, the next step is to set the base current, that is this base current IV, which will be seen over here in this microammeter. You have to make uh, it as 15 microampere. You have to keep the base current constant since we are uh, dealing with the output characteristics, as you might be knowing that in order to plot the output characteristics, you have to plot it uh, with um, keeping the input current base, we have to plot IC versus VC with uh, base current as constant. And for the time being, we'll be taking 15 microampere uh, as our base current, which is constant current, we'll be considering it. So you have to adjust the rheostat RH1 and vary the base current. 
So I'm adjusting the rheostat and making it as 15 micro ampere. After that, you have to vary the collector emitter voltage by adjusting the rheostat RH2. Okay, so uh, uh, just hit add to table this part and vary this rheostat RH2 in order to get the VCE values correspondingly, okay? So gradually vary this part. So suppose say I take a certain value at to table. Uh, after that, say I take another value at to table. So you just keep, uh, I'm taking arbitrary values. Uh, you take uh, values with regular intervals so that your graph comes to be a nice one. And uh, some say around uh, 10, 15 values would be suffice for a good graph. Uh, so I'm just uh, taking a few more values. You can see uh, the changes in the meters below. And okay, I've taken say around 15 values I want to take. So, so you have formed a table uh, by varying this rheostat RH2 and the corresponding value of uh, um, the VC is, is being noted over here. And it's for constant base current, 15 microampere. In college, we usually do two sets of this value with base current, say 15 microampere, uh, vary the rheostat and keep track of the voltages. And again, say about 20 microampere, another set, and we plot. So for the timing, just uh, see all this. Uh, and now just uh, hit the plot button and you have your collector to collector emitter voltage graph, keeping your base current constant. Now this was for uh, IV equals to 15 microampere, you can do for 20 microampere. It's pretty simple and you don't have to worry at all ab about its difficulties. Just follow the instructions given over here. You can pause my video and you can uh, do this experiment. If you're stuck at anywhere, please uh, feel free to uh, write your queries, okay? And I hope uh, this is quite helpful for you all for your exam purpose, since colleges are still yet uh, not yet open. So uh, you have to practice in this format, okay? So the next part is the BJTCE uh, input characteristics. So moving on to that section, BJT input characteristics, similar, um, interface opens over here where you have the circuit and you have the controls and you have the experimental table. Once again, you have to uh, read the instructions carefully given over here. And if you follow each and every step of the instructions, it is easier for you all to actually uh, get the input characteristics per, okay? So we will start with this, uh, uh, input characteristics of BGTCE amplifier. So initially you have to set the rheostat RH1 and RH2 as one ohm. So I'm just uh, giving this value same as before. Okay. Then the next part is setting the collector emitter voltage to one volt and that you can do by adjusting the rheostat RH2, okay? So let's vary the rheostat two and adjust the value of the VC to one volt, okay? gradually adjust it because it's, uh, okay, now it's one volt. Now the base emitter voltage is varied by adjusting the rheostat RH1. 
as you might be knowing that uh, the input characteristics is actually IC versus IB, okay, keeping your uh, collector emitter voltage constant. So you have to make a collector emitter voltage constant at some point and you have to do, so we have taken that to be as one volt, we'll keep it constant for the rest of the experiment. So add to table and just simply, you have to uh, note down the readings of the base current and now simply just uh, uh, vary this rehostat RH1 for uh, base values, different base values, okay? So say, suppose I take four and I add, I'm just gradually changing, I'm taking arbitrary values uh, once again, just to show you, and it's very simple, I hope, uh, it will be helpful for uh, students uh, there in engineering colleges, in uh, degree colleges. And uh, this is actually a, a common experiment in, in most of the curriculums across India. So during this pandemic, I hope uh, to help you out with the, as much as possible by this uh, endeavor. So, uh, I've taken quite a few points as uh, you can see 14 points I've taken, keeping my VCE as one volt. And I wish to see the plot of the input characteristics. So hit on plot button and you are able to see the input characteristics. A wonderful curve is given. You can also tally your output and input curves and circuits uh, if you wish with your concerned uh, electronics or physics. Uh, practical books uh, and you, you can from there uh, see that these graphs are quite uh, good. They have come out to be quite good though virtually being performed. So I hope uh, uh, this is going to be helpful for you all. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share the channel so that uh, most of the students uh, get benefited from it. Thank you all and stay safe.